Welcome to this step-by-step -step video tutorial where I'll take you through the process of setting up your C-Sharp development environment in Visual Studio Code, creating your first console application, and running it successfully. Whether you're a beginner or have some programming experience, this comprehensive guide will help you get started with C-Sharp programming using the powerful and lightweight Visual Studio Code IDE. Before we dive into the exciting world of C-Sharp programming, let's first ensure that you have the necessary tools installed on your computer. In this tutorial, we'll be using Visual Studio Code as our integrated development environment, IDE, for writing and managing our C-Sharp code. Assuming that you're familiar with Visual Studio Code since you're watching this video, if you haven't installed it yet, no worries. Simply head over to code.visualstudio.com to download and install Visual Studio Code on your machine. It's free open source, and available for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. Once you have Visual Studio Code installed, let's go back to the command prompt and ensure that you have the .NET runtime installed, which is essential for running C-sharp applications. Go to the search area on your computer and type CMD. Open your command prompt and enter the following command, .NET version. If you see a version number displayed, great. You're all set to proceed with the tutorial. However, if you receive an error or don't have the .NET runtime installed, don't worry. I've got you covered. Simply head over to https colon slash slash dot net dot microsoft dot com slash enna slash download, where you can download and install the .NET runtime for C Sharp. Having the .NET runtime installed is crucial as it provides the necessary environment to run C Sharp applications. Assuming that you have already installed Visual Studio Code and have the .NET runtime installed, let's begin by opening the command prompt and navigating to the desktop, where we'll create a folder to store our project. To open the command prompt, go to the search area on your computer and type CMD. Once the command prompt appears, click on it to open the command line interface. Now, let's navigate to the desktop by typing the following command and pressing Enter, CD Desktop. This command will change the current directory to the desktop. Next, let's create a folder to store our project. You can choose any name for your folder. For example, let's call it, My C Sharp Project. To create the folder, type the following command and press Enter. To navigate into the folder we just created, we need to use the cd command followed by the name of the folder. This will change the current directory to My C Sharp Project folder, allowing us to work directly within it. Great! We now have a folder to store our C Sharp Project. Let's proceed by creating our project template using the .NET CLI. In the command prompt, type the following command and press enter, .NET New Console. This command will generate a new console application template for your C-Sharp project. Once the project template is built, it's time to open our project in Visual Studio Code. To do this, type the following command and press enter, code dot. This command will open the current directory, which is our project folder, in Visual Studio Code. Fantastic! Now you have your C-Sharp project set up in Visual Studio Code, and you're ready to start writing your first lines of code. To make our lives easier while writing C-Sharp code, let's install a must-have extension called C-Sharp Dev Kit. Click on the extension icon in Visual Studio Code, search for C-Sharp Dev Kit, and install it. This extension provides various productivity features, including code snippets, IntelliSense, and much more. Additionally, we'll install another powerful extension called GitHub Copilot. Search for GitHub Copilot in the extension marketplace and install it. GitHub Copilot leverages AI to provide intelligent code suggestions and auto-completion as you write your C-sharp code. It's like having an AI-powered coding assistant right at your fingertips. Now that we have our essential extensions installed, let's go back to our C-sharp program. Run our template project in Visual Studio Code, follow these steps. Click on the hamburger button, three horizontal lines, in the top left corner of Visual Studio Code. From the drop-down menu, select Terminal and then click on New Terminal. This will open the integrated terminal within Visual Studio Code. In the terminal, type the command .NET run and press Enter. This command will build and run our c -sharp project. Voila! Our application has run successfully, and you should see the output Hello World displayed in the terminal. But before we proceed, let's clear our terminal by typing CLS and pressing Enter. This will ensure a clean workspace for our new application. Now, I already have my custom application code that I've prepared for this demonstration. You can find the complete code in the link provided in the video description. 
simply click the link, and it will take you to a GitHub repository where you can access the code. The code we have here creates an interactive console application that allows users to perform various tasks. When executed, it will display a welcome message and present a menu with three options. 1. Generate a random number. 2. Get the current date and time. 3. Exit the application. The code starts by displaying a welcome message to the user. Inside the while loop, the program prompts the user to select an option. Options are displayed with corresponding numbers, and the user can enter the desired number as input. The input is read using console.readLine and stored in the input variable. A switch statement is used to determine the action based on the user's input. If the input is 1, the generate random number method is called. If the input is 2, the get current date time method is called. If the input is 3, the program displays a goodbye message and exits. If the input is invalid, the program displays an error message and loops back to the option selection. The generate random number method generates a random number between 1 and 100 using the random class and displays it. The get current date time method retrieves the current date and time using datetime.now and displays it. To run our application, let's open a new terminal. Navigating to the terminal menu and selecting new terminal. Once the terminal opens, we're ready to execute our application. Type .NET run in the terminal and press enter. It's exciting to see our application come to life. The program starts running, and we're greeted with a welcome message. Now, let's interact with our application. To generate a random number, simply type 1 and press enter. Amazing! The application generates a random number, which is 43, and displays it on the screen. Next, let's check our local time. Type 2 and press enter. Brilliant! The application retrieves the current date and time, and we can see it displayed on the screen. Isn't that great? To gracefully exit our application, let's type 3 and press enter. The program acknowledges our choice and bids us farewell with a goodbye message. What a smooth and user-friendly experience. I hope you enjoyed following along with this demonstration. Our custom console application showcases the power and versatility of C-sharp programming. Thank you so much for joining me in this video tutorial. If you found it helpful or have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more exciting coding content. Stay tuned for future videos where we'll dive deeper into C-sharp programming and explore more fascinating projects. Happy coding, and see you in the next video.